Hello, hello, hello. Sucrose so here. Back to play some Long Dark. It's been a while. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they'd change some stuff about this last patch. Um, they they did release a, um, a small patch today. Uh, they fixed a couple of things, uh, but the, the main stuff is still there. So is what it is. I figured we would give it another shot. I think we're ready to go. Turn that off. Had a little trouble setting my stream title. Twitch was uh, giving me some shit. But I think, I think everything's fine. Alright. Dang snuff. How's it going, man? So the last time we played, we started over in Broken Railroad. Uh, we did a little more exploring, and then we found our way back here uh, with quite a bit of loot. A lot of uh, saplings, some food, uh, a gun, all sorts of great stuff. Been playing Minecraft, and what a what a game that uh, so many people want to play for years and years and years and years. Minecraft really captured something magical. <clears throat> uh, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to go to Milton. Milton is a little town. It's the only town. Uh, it's got a lot of loot and it's got a lot of uh, wolves. Now, I, I, I don't want to deal with wolves, but it is what it is. From Milton, we're going to hopefully go to the new map. Although I don't know if we're going to get to it this, this stream. We'll see. I think, oh shit! How did we miss this? I guess because we, we actually haven't really been here. We started in a broken railroad when the patch hit, so... Practice by killing everything you see. Ah, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, okay, so we went to the dam last episode to try to find a cooking pot, and there was a cooking pot sitting here. Problem is, it's really heavy. I thought it was actually going to be like half a pound. So, the cooking pot lets us cook more water at once, which is nice. Um, I don't think it speeds anything up. But we can make more water. Um, I don't know if we want to carry it with us either. It's, it's pretty heavy. All right. Well, let, let's uh, let's get everything and get everything ready. So let's figure out how many arrows we're going to bring. They they did not fix this. They said that they did, but they did not fix this. Come on, come on. All right. All right. We did some organizing. I'm starting to remember. It's been it's been a while since we played. Uh, we put some stuff upstairs and some stuff here. Uh, okay. Right, okay, so here's, we've got one nice arrow, maybe two-ish, and then four in here. Since we're going to go on this adventure, I think we should make... Like two more, three, two more. Arrows. Let's just go ahead and get those out of the way. Uh, let's do it later in the day. All right. What? What else? So let's check. Take a look at our clothes. Okay. So we could repair these. These. Uh, 
it's, it's, it's a little bit wasteful, but it's probably a good thing to do before we go. Um, if I were leather, I think I'd put them over here. I think I'd put the leather over here. Oh shit, that's our last piece. I... Oh, actually, we have some on us. I think we're going to find leather. So I'll wait on that. Um, okay, our bow is actually kind of shitty. Where would a bow be? Where would a bow be? Did we leave the crappy bow? That's probably what we did. Okay, so we'll repair our tools. Okay, we're looking pretty good. So, so yeah, um, so I've played in Milton. It, it's been, well, I, it was back in January. Um, but I was playing with wolves turned off, where they were passive. And they were everywhere. Everywhere you'd go, there'd be eight wolves. So we're going to try to run away from them as much as possible. I know that's not as exciting, but there'll be plenty of action, I'm sure. To get there, we've got to climb up and down a bunch of ropes. So we'll want to make a fairly light get up. Uh, Let's drop some of this wood. I don't know why we've got all this stuff on us. I, I can't remember what we were doing. I guess we came back from the dam. I think I think that's what we last did. So the problem is we don't really have any lighter clothes, I don't think. Let, let's take a look at our clothes, which are upstairs. Um, so my idea is to set out tomorrow morning. If the weather is fine, I want to head out tomorrow. Uh, mostly because I, it's not not for strategic reasons. I think it would be better if we stayed here. But I'm just kind of uh, just kind of bored. Want to go on an adventure? So. So we've got this wool shirt, but I think we already have two wool shirts. I think these are the same weight. Uh, 0.55. Interestingly, the wool shirt actually has better waterproofness. It doesn't matter, though, because it's an inner thing, but it's kind of weird. Um, Jesus, look at all of our tubes. So we could go with something like a windbreaker on the outside, and that would uh, that would get rid of like five pounds. But we wouldn't have the protection from the wolves. So I think it's just gonna stay stay like this. Um, I think it's best if we just keep it. All right, well, our clothes are our clothes, so what else can we drop? We're not very good at getting below even 40 pounds with these clothes on. So we're going to get rid of the light. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right, Danglesnuff. At the same time, it's going to be very hard to bring stuff out, to take stuff back 
but also it's better to stay alive, I think. So some of the stuff we're not going to bring, like uh, the lantern. I'm a little sad that we only have this one bow, but 68% should be enough. Um, I don't think we're going to bring the cooking pot as much time as we spent looking for one. It's just too heavy. Let's, uh, let's put the cook pot here. How do you do it? So, all right, so here's the thing. There's been a lot of arguments on Reddit, and people, of course, are stupid. This game is, it's so annoying, because now you have to drag things to things. You can't click to, to bring things. Kill a moose. I could kill a moose. We haven't even found a moose. If there were a moose around here, if there was a moose around here, uh, I'd try to kill him, but I haven't seen one. So you can't click on the cooking pot to use it. It's just, it's just, it's a stupid interface, and the designers are stupid, and the people who like it are stupid. That's, that's my take on it. Um, but it looks like they're not going to change it. At least not before more people complain. All right, what what else? Uh, so that's food. Let's just go down here. Uh, we'll drop a couple sticks. Carry this. Carry twenty-two matches. I'm sure we'll find more. We've got tools. So we'll turn some of these into arrows. I'm going to go ahead and bring. 100% fishing line. <coughs> we had to make repairs last time, and that helped quite a bit. Uh, we're going to bring bring these two cans. Uh, should we bring a sewing kit? I think we'll find a sewing kit. Uh, but I'm going to repair my shoes. Uh, it's wasteful to repair my shoes. All right, we'll drop that. Repair a thing. All right, let's, um, so what you want to do when it comes to repairs is you want to wait until the repair, uh, like, doesn't repair past 100%, because whatever you pair, repair past 100% is wasteful. But we're rich. There's one, oh look, it actually is quite a bit nicer. So there's one errand that I want to do very quickly. And that's look for our arrow. So we shot a wolf, well we shot a deer, and then a wolf attacked our deer. And we lost our arrow. And um, I was upset. And it turns out that there's a bug, well, there was a bug, in this new patch that makes arrows invisible. Uh, now, I don't know if we're going to get our arrow back. Uh, hey, pal, don't you understand them? They're old, high German. I don't even know what that means, but... Um, I don't see the, I don't see the wolf we shot. Is it here? I think it's here. The deer, the deer was probably upset too. Um, so we'll see if their patch makes arrows visible retroactively. Don't see my arrow. Well, I don't like that. Is this fanatic? I have no, I have absolutely no idea, Bill. I don't speak German. I certainly don't speak old, high German. 
I think it's uh, it's like German from the 1500s or something. It's like old English for for me. You know, I I don't, I don't know. But it uh, it roughly translates to for uh, without a nail, to sh some, something I don't know, whatever. I, I can tell you in English, but actually the German one sounded a little nicer. It's very succinct. <laughs> Um, we have all this food that we're not going to get a chance to eat, but it's okay, it's okay. This game is meant to be played, not, um, not just survive, I think. So let's make our arrows. Here. Now these take actually these take a while. I think we need to make two, but I I might just make three. Does it not make any sense to you, Pale? Is it just like nonsensical? I mean, it looks looks like it's got letters that you don't have, as far as I can tell. I can make another. Okay. All right, so that's that. I also wanted to repair my tools. Um, let's see, do we have a better hatchet? Do we have a better knife? We do. How about a hatchet? I could have sworn we took, we brought back multiple hatchets, but I guess I guess we left those hatchets there. Did I really do that? Because of the weight, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Streamer, please. Do ventriloquism. Uh, you'll have to tune into Delvina's channel. She's the ventriloquist. Actually, it's funny. I was walking down the street today. And I was, I was doing some ventriloquism. I mean, not like, like just to myself, because I was thinking about it. Um, I, I mean, I, I have zero skill, but all you just keep your mouth open a little bit. You know, like this. You just keep. I don't. You just keep your mouth open. That's all it is. A uh, couple of the, couple of the letters, you have to kind of say funny. Um, like B, like B, because you can't, you can't say B without uh, putting your lips together. So you've got to turn into like a, you know, some some other letter. Uh, that's good enough for the night. Yeah, but like I said, I I, ha I have no skill. I have no skill. When I was young, I used to practice magic and ventriloquism and all that stuff. I used to want to do cool things. Now, now I don't want to do cool things anymore. Orthographic bullshit? What does that even mean? What does that mean? Translate that to English, pal. Uh, the hatchet's pretty important. It seems to take more damage than the knife. Uh, so there we go, 96%. Alright, let's put... Destroy the whetstone, put that whetstone in there. Crappy knife, the sewing kit. Now we've got a ton of arrows. Um, how many do we need? So I would normally say nine is too many, but 
I don't know how long we're going to be gone. Uh, it's so you're saying it's spelled ridiculously. Uh, yeah. Translatable. It's a it's a neat. I mean, it's certainly a neat idea. I I don't know about. I I think when you read Old English, as someone who does speak Old English, or you, you read, uh, you know, older. English, because I don't think you can read Old English. It's too too distant. Um, it sounds very fancy, and it sounds very high and mighty. Hi, Solar Star Lord. Welcome. What's going on? We're preparing to go to Milton. First time on this uh, in this run, and. I hope I hope I can get everything ready before tomorrow morning. Uh, problem is it's too dark now to finish. So, let's see. Let's grab a little water and head to bed. Uh, the farm outside of Milton is your home. Cool. It's a nice place, but uh, a lot of wolves. Seems pretty dangerous to me. <coughs> Hopefully we don't encounter too many wolves. Um, I, I've been there off stream. I've been there off stream uh, back in January. And, uh, but when I, when I played it in January, I played it with the wolves on passive. Um, we're now playing with the wolves on stalker. So it's going to be, it's going to be tough. I think I, I, I'm not very good. We actually woke up early. Well, let's go downstairs with the light. Finish getting ready and then do an hour's sleep. Do we have any cooked meat? No, we do not. So I'm going to eat like dog food, I guess. I don't Not a lot of wolves for me. Only inside and the farm outside, most of the Whenever I went to the farm, there were always two wolves in the field. You kill for your bunny folks. Yeah, a lot of bunnies. Yeah, I remember that. A lot of bunnies. I feel pretty bad about eating this dog food and we've got all that meat outside, but, you know, here's the thing, I could, I could play this game really, really conservatively, and we could live for 500 days, but would that be fun? I don't think so. I don't think it would be fun, except to say, you know, oh, look, we've survived for that many days. Um, it's actually pretty boring to survive. So we're going to take some risks. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and repair those shoes and see if maybe we do it on the porch. Uh, hi, Sean. Welcome back. Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? Just stick your hand up their asses. Yeah, yeah, that works. Uh, all right. So, like I said, we're gonna repair these, even though it's wasteful. Oh, you need cloth. Gosh darn. 
Just chilling. Cool. Cool deal. Alright, let's try again. Uh, hi, Aunt Laura. Welcome. It is uh, custom difficulty based on Stalker. We removed Cabin Fever. Um, I'm not sure what else. Mostly Cabin Fever. But the wolves, all the all the animal behavior is definitely default stalker. And they have been pretty nasty. Alright, we also need this little guy. Actually, let's see if we can do it inside. Oh, it's bright enough. Uh, I do not like the update, John. I do not like it at all. I do not like it on a train. I do not like it on a plane. Uh, I do not like it in a box. I do not like it with a fox. <laughs> it's tedious. It's really tedious. It's super duper tedious. You can't just click to go cook something. You've got to drop it on the ground, move it, line it up, click. Then you've got to go in and click twice more to, to wait. It's just a pain in the ass. It's, it makes my fingers tired. It makes me tired just thinking about it. I think it's tedious as fuck. Uh, but I have a feeling they're not going to change it at this point. So that's why I'm back to play Uh, I mean, you could make a game where you had to click twice every time instead of once. Like, why? Why would you do that? <clears throat> I think the game, the interesting parts of this game are all the decisions you have to make and not the tediousness of the interface. Um, which is why I have click to do things instead of hold to do things. It's just stupid. Right, let's drop this cloth. We also have this hoodie. I don't know if we're going to get out today. We'll certainly make it a trapper's cabin. Okay. Looking... Yeah, it's unnecessary. That's that's what's annoying about it. Um, and it's not even it's not even unnecessary. Like they haven't worked on it. This is the rework. That's what's really upsetting about it is that they they called it an overhaul, and all they did is make things take more actions. I think it's really annoying. I was expecting cooking. Um. You know, something where you had to, like, mix ingredients up or figure out that certain berries hurt you, certain berries didn't. I, I don't know. I was expecting something else. All they did is make it more tedious. All right. We have an extra jacket. Where is it? Here it is. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're at 54 pounds. So what, are, what is all this weight coming from? Uh, maybe that's it. I mean, so I already, I feel like these developers really like tediousness anyway. Um, so I don't know how many of you play or, or with what settings, but typically to, to open this file cabinet, to search this file cabinet, you have to click and hold. And that, um, that spinning thing that comes up, uh, it takes a long time when it's a new, when it's a new cabinet. Uh, we don't have any unsearched cabinets in here, but you have to click and hold it for a couple seconds. It's stupid that you have to wait anyway. You know, this isn't a multiplayer game. So to have to click and hold, super frustrating. Um, 
and enough people complain that there's an option in the... Let's see if we can find it. There's an option here, accessible interactions. It converts all the press and hold actions into press actions for people with uh, uh, wrist problems. I don't, I don't have wrist problems, but this is much nicer. This is much nicer to play. Again, to me, what's interesting, and I've had this situation, actually, going to Milton. Um, I was dying. I was... Uh, I was freezing to death outside. I didn't know where it was going. I was lost. And I had to make the decision, should I keep my clothes and try to find shelter? Or should I tear my clothes up to make a snow shelter? That is what this game is all about. That is what makes this game good. The decision, should I tear my clothes up so I can have cloth to make a shelter? Or should I keep my clothes and keep looking? That's what makes this game great. The interface sucks. The interface to this game is tedious as fuck. But it's still a good game. It's just it could be a better game. Uh, I hope I hope that makes sense. The, here's where our weight's coming from. All the scrap metal. All right. Oh yay! Close make a shelter for the body. Uh, yeah 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 yeah. But the way it works is you tear up your clothes, you get cloth, and then you can combine cloth and sticks to make a shelter outside. <clears throat> when it started, the interface was more fucked. Yeah, but they, they have no clue what, what they're doing when it comes to the interface. They, the interface is... It's always been bad. Um, I would say it's better, but, like, they've had years. They've had, like, four years, right? It's been, it's crazy. All right, 46. This is a lot better. Let's drop the lamp. Actually, we kind of need the lamp for the cave. All right, I'll keep the lamp. And then we'll drop it in the cave. I feel a little rushed. Um, we're kind of leaving in a hurry. Let's, uh... Put the antiseptic. Uh, oh, actually, we decided not to keep antiseptic. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe they're a small studio, but I, I feel like that's irrelevant when it comes to judging a game. I, I judge it based on how pleasant it is, how interesting it is, not how efficient they were in terms of fun divided by, you know, workers. I, I don't care about that. I care about when I spend time on it. How many stories do I have? Oh man, and I have some stories from this game. Uh, I was I was at it was another trip to Milton. I was climbing the rope. I was um, exhausted and and just barely made it to the top. And then I uh, uh, got exhausted, fell down broke my leg, and it was like, I can't go back, there's a rope in one direction, I can't go forward, there's a rope in one direction, but I had a stem, I used the stem, got safety, but I was like 10% health, I mean, that kind of thing, you know, that's, that's what gets the blood pumping. That's exciting. Uh, but ask, I mean, you sit here and you watch me play, how fun is it to watch me go through these freaking inventory things? over and over and over. There's too much inventory management already. There's too much. Um, and it doesn't work right. Like, I mean, you, you know. It's just ridiculous. Uh, you, sort by, you sort by weight, for example. Just for give you an example. So let's see. Let's get it down to four. So we've sorted by weight, right? And uh, and I say, okay, I want to move. I want to move the rest of these in here. So okay, well, you can do it a couple ways. You can uh, double click. Oh, well, it jumped. Well, yeah, okay, it jumped because it's a different weight. That's fine. But look what's still selected. 
what's selected is not what I had selected before. What's selected is this new thing that happens to be in the same spot. All right, you get the point. The UI sucks, and the new UI for cooking is even worse. I'm, I'm going to stop talking about it because it gets me worked up. Uh, and I need to be calm for the wolves. <clears throat> All right, we'll keep the lamp. Uh, we've prepared everything. We don't really have food. I, I don't know why. I don't need to drop these. I don't need to drop these. These are fine. If you're venting, it's a good thing. Yeah, this will keep me... Uh, I, I can't tell whether this helps or hurts my blood pressure. Is getting it out good for your blood pressure or all right here's the big choice everybody bedroll or bearskin bedroll this dude is uh six and a half pounds this dude is 2.2 but this thing is really warm i kind of think bearskin we didn't take it last time and i don't I don't necessarily regret it, but we did come very close to dying in the cold. Um, so let's take this as more of a sightseeing trip instead of a loot gathering trip. Maybe we'll come back for loot later. Uh, oh, you guys are split. Um, I think we're ready. Feel like uh, feel like we're ready. I, I I wish I had more cooked meat, but let's take uh, let's take that, let's take that, and let's take um, let's take these. We have another hundred cat stalk tails upstairs. I think it's time to start eating. Let's take that. Actually, let's do. Yeah, that's fine. Herbal tea? No. All right. All right, first stop, Trapper's Cap. Uh, is that everything? You ever get that feeling when you're about to leave your house and you think, wait, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> restore my mana. Uh, we have a weapon. We have good clothes. We have tools. Um. Oh, here's our hatchets. Jesus Christ, we're rich. All right, I'm gonna grab two more waters. That way we won't have to make water. All right. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, shit. So the weather is not ideal. Really be rich if there's no one else to be poor. That's a, that's a good question. I would say yes. Um, the weather outside is uh, the weather outside is nasty. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna cook these two pieces of thing and then and then we'll check the weather. And we get to try the pot. We haven't tried the pot yet. 
weather outside is nasty and the fire is so Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm glad you picked up on it. I, I, I'm just, I can't think of what goes with nasty. I guess it's frightful and delightful, so it should be opposite. I don't know. All right, so you can click on the cooking pot, which is nice. This is much better than the... Uh, what we were doing. Holy shit. So this, uh, can't really complain about the time it takes. I mean, I feel like that's annoying, but that's a balanced decision. Um, But being able to click on the cooking pot is a big deal. What we used to have to do is either drop them, so you go in here, drop, or you um, use the radial with space. So it's like space, food, then the meat, you right click on that, and then you left click, it's really tedious. Cooking pot's nicer. Uh, I will concede that, but we didn't have a cooking pot. So. I hate putting food on the floor. I feel like that it's kind of gross. All right, so pass time until ready. We've got 18 minutes. Let's check the weather. If it's good, we'll just go. I'll make the other. Boy, it takes a long freaking time. To cook these now. Uh, now there's people who say that this is um, the reason this is interesting is it gives you a chance to do something else. All right, we've got 50 minutes. What are we gonna do in 50 minutes? 50 minutes isn't even enough time to read an hour. You can only read in increments of an hour. You can't make an arrow. Uh, I can't repair clothes. There's nothing you can do in 50 minutes. There's some clothes repairs. Uh, maybe repair your tools. But I've done all that. So I I see it as more of a tedious thing. I don't know. Uh, take it. 35 minutes. Looks like it's about one o'clock. I think we can make it to the trapper's cabin. The visibility is not good, but I think it's pretty simple. We've done it once before. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's nowhere near as good as uh, 
Silver bells, though. That's my favorite. Silver bells is the best Christmas song. Uh, objectively. So there was a fun little bug that they added in this last patch and they fixed today. And that's, if you, well, arguably not a bug, I mean, a lot of people thought it was on purpose, but if you go out here and let's say you go chop some, some wood, um, all the animals get simulated around you, got simulated around you. You could see them moving and uh, extra fast. And so if you went out and a wolf happened to wander near you, you could get attacked. Um, but the intention was only if it had detected you already. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it's kind of makes sense that if they happen to wander into you while you're chopping fire that they can attack. Uh, but then that goes to another thing which is I feel like they already they um, they lean too heavily on the wolves for the difficulty. Like they're just not as interesting as the weather even. The wolves are the zombies of this game. There's often a wolf here, but I think we killed him recently, so... Hopefully. Um, here's another UI thing. You have to keep pressing tab to keep this HUD up. Because they think they, uh, they think they're Apple. Um, I have to admit, I was hoping that the weather would have cleared up by the time we got, got here. So I know that uh, we go over here and turn to the right. But I can't really see anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. And uh, let's try sleeping for now. Holy moly. So I think it's pretty safe to say we won't be making it to Milton today. Um, I do still hope to make it to the cave, although I'm not even sure that's going to be the case. Let's give it another hour. Sounds like a nice heavy duty zipper. Like one of those big. Nah, that's okay. Those big zippers, you know? Sounds like it would be very pleasant to, to zip. Even though we've gotten rid of that wolf, there's uh, there's wolves around the trapper's cabin, and we still have a little bit of meat on us. 
because I'm stubborn. I don't exactly know where it is, but I, I know that it's to the right. And probably if we get up on a hill, we can see it. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. So that's a deer on the little hill over there. No time for you, Mr. Deer. I guess if his name was John, he would be Dear John. Mr. Dear John. I think from up here you can actually see. I think we're close enough. Uh, it's like hang right at the corpse kind of thing. Turn left at the bird. Okay. Bastard ate my meat. Ugh. On this difficulty, they can smell you from so far away if you have anything that smells. Absolutely bonkers. Here we go. Here it is. Trapper's cabin. We've been here before. Pretty early on, actually. Um... Uh, so, yeah, again, I don't really know where the cave is, but I'm pretty sure the cave is... He's within view of... so it's probably that. Um, I'm going to head to the house and then we'll head to the cave. <clears throat> now if this were the Don't Starve, which I often get confused of, Long Dark Don't Starve, um, you could dig up those rays and get some gems. But loud rabbits. Okay, okay, there's a deer. Deer, deer, deer. But we heard wolves. I just want to see if we see him. Alright, so anything here that we left I should probably take notes next time we play, because uh Certainly didn't remember that. Or we uh, we picked this place clean, huh? Um, I guess you can't tear up that chair. Usually you can tear those chairs up. So... I'm trying to decide if we should stay here for the night or 
push on through to the cave. I think the cave. And so uh, I'm thinking maybe we should tear up a chair or something. So this is an hour 30 for six. Just in case, we'll have a little bit of wood. Nice and crisp now. All right. So I think I think it's that. I think he can see that it's a hole, and there's deer, so it should be safe, relatively. Well, I don't think I don't think bear attacked deer. So it could be a bear. have half a mind to shoot him and have dinner. But I think it's pretty likely that we'll have to chase him down. Then we'll have too much deer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go. There'll probably be a backpack or something in here with a little bit of food. Right. So this, I, I, if I remember right, this is a zone, like a transition zone, that happens to be a cave. Um, I actually don't know... If it's dangerous. I don't think I don't think there's anything in caves. So it is barely visible. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Maybe we'll find some some cool stuff on the ground. Probably even probably pick up coal. So we've got some light here. Just pick this up for fires. I'll put it I'll leave it uh very branching. Somebody was here. God, imagine if there was like an NPC who just popped up. Howdy, neighbor! What you doing? Living here for 20 years.
We could totally do this without a lamp. But I wanted to give it a once over in case there's uh, backpacks and stuff. Alright. So. Where does this leave us? Okay. Alright, I remember this. So I have been here. Um, drop all that. Jesus Christ, we're so heavy. I'm gonna drop that. I think uh, I'm gonna carry this until we get to the rope, and probably this stuff too, in case we in case we have bad weather, we have to make fire. Uh, actually, so. It's almost nighttime. So instead of venturing anywhere, we're going to explore this region and then we're going to sleep uh, in the cave. Or just the vicinity, I mean, we're going to explore the vicinity. It's pretty cool. If we find another cave, then I'll probably just bed there, but I, I, I don't remember if there are any. Need if that got me wet. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so um, essentially where we are, are on some like cliffy sort of region. My memory is some, something like you, you have to go down a rope and then across this thing and then up a rope or two in order to get to Milton. And it's not too hard to find, I don't think. Uh, but I definitely do not want to do it at night. I'm thinking maybe we'll stay out under the stars or, uh, I don't know, if we, if we go, so here's the rope, if we go down, that would save us some time tomorrow and some energy. I think I heard a deer.
It's a lot of wood here, multiple branches. So if it gets cold, we can make a fire. Let's take a look and see how far down it is. See if we see a cave down there, somewhere we could spend the night really safe. I don't really see shit. But, uh, this bearskin sleeping bag makes me feel confident. Which is probably not good. these for the weight, mostly. Let's go ahead and drop 57. Let's sleep downstairs. Um, going down takes less energy than going up, but it still takes plenty of energy. just got really serious. Um, I did not notice, or it had not started, but there is an aurora. This is going to be my first time outside, uh, like spending the night under an aurora. Don't know how that works. I don't know if we just hide. <clears throat> they won't see us, but um, I'm going to try to sleep through it. What could go wrong? Okay. One problem dealt with. No Aurora. Ar Aurora. I feel like when I say it, I sound drunk. But we're fully rested. Not really a whole lot to do. As you might imagine, I don't feel crazy about exploring at night. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this wall. That way I can't get lost. Shit, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> I can't tell if this is a cave. It looks like a ravine. I think it's just an in-between. Actually, would have been a good place to make it. Bad, but um, it's just like trees have fallen in this pit. It's pretty early in the night. 
What have we gotten ourselves into? So if I see any movement, uh, I'm probably just going to stop and wait. But I, I don't see anything. This will warm. But not safe. This looks like a cave. Huh. There's a bedroll. So I, I dropped the lamp. Otherwise I'd turn that on. What do we do with the bed with? We definitely don't need more water, and I don't have any food to cook. Uh, I could warm up peaches before we go, but it's so late that I kind of don't want to spend more time sleep, uh, wandering. I mean, it's so early. What could we do with a second bedroom? Don't. If we carried it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it would be a good travel bedroll for while we're in this area. Oh, well, we have to climb an up rope soon. To make some water to put here, I could warm up these beaches. I don't know, none of it really sounds very useful. Ooh, it's shitty condition. So if you let it run to zero, you can't repair it. We don't, uh, we don't have the cloth to repair it. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a couple hours of sleep here, maybe. Waste an hour.
snowing. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna wait an hour. I hate to do it. <clears throat> Don't have anything to do. Ooh. Okay, it just got interesting. So now it's cold. I'm going to... Eh. Eh. Sleep an hour. This thing, this thing gives a huge warmth bonus to, to, to warmth. Clear day. freezing anymore, although it sounds pretty windy outside, so I bet when we step outside it's going to be uh, kind of stuck. Cedar should carry cedar. I think we have three pieces already. Um, all these things I'll probably drop when we get to the rope, but not at the rope yet. Don't know where the rope is. I don't even know if we're supposed to climb up or down, but I think I think it's down. So at any rate, I'm gonna follow this wall. But I just saw a sign. Okay, well that's super helpful. Yeah, so we're looking for a rope. Probably going up. Maybe going down. And I think that's it. It's a lot simpler than uh, than my memory. I think when I did this, I didn't have a way to sleep. I didn't have a, a bag. Let's, uh, let's drop some, some weight. We're going to get really tired going up. I'll probably take the coffee now. I don't, I don't know if any of those things make sense. But... Now we're under 60. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know if this wears down at, outside, but I'm going to leave that here. You know, we'll, it sucks if it does, but we'll find out. All right, that looks good to me. So let's top off. And honestly, we're so slept that I probably don't need to. Take a coffee.
We only have the one. It's a long, it's a big road, but I think we're okay. I have, I have no idea. I'm taking the coffee. Where the walls start. So this is outside of Milton. So we've made it. I mean, we've been on the map. But... Um. Last time I played here, there were it's, there's wolves everywhere, but there are a lot of wolves here in this little area. Right. Look at that! Another bedroll. We are lucky. Oops. So. The, the great thing about Milton is that the, the place is full of uh, stuff. It's full of um, buildings, loot. A lot, just a lot of stuff. It almost feels like a real town, like a real small town, like a hundred people or something. Not really, but kind of. A little bit. Push on. Um, I'd love to make it to the town proper. And then we'll go from there. We'll, there's a nice big house kind of in the middle of everything. which I'd like to use as our base of operations. It's a cute little place. Uh, kind of makes me feel like uh, when I go upstate, go hiking, something you might see. Down, 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 down. There's a there's a garagey sort of place, which I think be our first stop. Unless we can't get in it, it might take a crowbar. I think that's it. Shit, so that, that's... Can't get in there. Oh, no, Pale. Sorry, I'm not feeling well. I hope you feel better. Um, 
Yeah. Good night. Shit. They're both. They're both locked. Uh. So we need to find a pry bar. I hope we can find one. I, I, if I remembered that, if I had known that, would have brought one. Shoot. Um. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Phil. I'm sorry. Well, here is hoping that we managed to find a pry bar. Um, don't know how much. Man, that sucks. Is that really it? It's just two doors. There's a body over there. Uh, what is that? What is that? Are those deer? Oh, it's two deer, I think. I thought it was a moose, but I think it's two deer. I think there's something up here, too, like a bus. I guess we should check it out since we're already up here. Just added something to the long dark wiki. What is it? Huh. I'm kind of surprised that it's not on the wiki. Um, we found that uh, in this playthrough, it, it do honestly doesn't seem super useful to me. It only seems to work during the Aurora. I, I guess if you live outside, it might be useful. Like if you, uh, if you don't go inside, there's literally nothing here. I was kind of hoping that it would charge up during the Aurora, and then you could use it afterwards, but it doesn't work that way. Alright, well, there's like, there's like a spot over there, I think you can go through the, th yeah, so, so, uh, Star, um, Star-Lord, if, if you try to use it during the Aurora, it works. But that's the only time it works. Um, and it's... The left click is like normal flashlight. And the right click is high beams. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can use it to scare wolves. But it only works during the Aurora. So it's... Like I say, I think it's only useful if you just always stay outside and travel at night and stuff like that. So the main town is this way. There's um, some kind of a little bridge thing over there. I'm not sure if there's anything there. There's this body over here. Seems like a wolf. Yeah, so there's a wolf to there's a wolf and a bunny on that hill. Okay, the wolf just chased the bunny. Let's go check this guy out. <clears throat> Could be a deer. Uh 
Um, Balaclava. Oh, those are nice. How fucking lucky are we? I mean, seriously. So, that's kind of crazy. I thought to myself, um, corpses often have tools. So I said, let's check it out, as long as we can stay away from this wolf. Uh, but that's kind of crazy. So we're going to go back here. Keep hearing those weird sounds. a gas station. I imagine this place has a lot of good stuff. Probably put the bow away. Um, yeah, so if I could, if, if I could apparently just Ask for stuff. I'd, I'd like an expedition park, please. Let's see if that works. Boy, it sure would be nice if we found an expedition park out here. Just hanging out in one of these lockers. see the loot, the loot settings at play. Most of these things don't have anything in them. Alright, we got those two, I believe. Those two rooms. Make a Slurpee. Bloodboard box. Tell you one thing, I've never had a shortage of tinder in this game. You can make tinder out of sticks, sticks are everywhere. You can make tinder out of newspapers, newspapers are everywhere. I, I feel like you'd never need tinder. It's a false you know, need. Feather in the trash. One bullet in the cash register. Well, as nice as it is that we got him here. 
really not a whole lot of stuff. Oh, we got a few things. Oh. All right, so good amount of uh, stuff to nibble on. I think, I think that's it. be a bad place to to live in. You've got that field nearby. Oh, that has all those deer. All right, let's see. So, way overweight now. Remember, it doesn't matter. Uh, we almost never need water, but I'm going to put some water here. I'm going to put two of those bad boys. Uh, I think we'll hang on to this. Lantern is probably going to be useful just to see around the houses at night. Let's drop those with 69. find another bedroom? Did I not pick it up? Was there a bedroll in that little ranger cat? don't think we need it. But I could have sworn I saw two of them. Try to make it to the town. I'll uh, put all my stuff in that big house. Food, the sleeping bag, and then we'll explore stuff from there. In fact, I kind of think the neighbor should just go there first. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm going to pick up a lot of stuff. Forgot to get that trunk. everywhere these uh, houses can be randomly destroyed. Um, I don't know if there's any guarantees or, or what, but I'd imagine that the harder the difficulty, the more the more houses are destroyed. I haven't seen 
The one that isn't yet. Oh, there's the one with the flag. Gotta remember to jump in these cars if you see. A wolf. Like, full of charges. Made it. Town. Milton. House number one. Ah, uh, civilization. All this cloth from the. What do you call them? Curtains? All this food. Come on. All this food. All this food. Bad luck with these cats. Goodness gracious. Um, book beans. Books. Book. Do you have to pick these books up to check them? I think they tell you the name. If it's a, if it's a research book. Yeah, so any of these houses that have refrigerators are pretty good places to stay. Just because of the storage space. Oh, fancy. Actually, I think they're not bad in terms of warmth to heat. Put your bow away. Not in the house. Raising the bar, Jesus. I always move my head like that. That house. Um, nothing fantastic, but so the stuff is heavy. We're Eighty-five. Pretty soon we won't be able to run. It was always a wolf waiting for us at that house, or waiting for me at that house, the one where I want to go. Um, might be better to stay somewhere else, I'm not sure. There's, a, there's another house that I think across the street is not so bad. Let me pot. I think I'll carry that for here and bring it to wherever we live. Live in this region. Wow, two houses, nothing in the cabinets. Oh, 
the champions. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Hey! Alright, we have to drop some water. I was, I was starting to think where, where those people actually live. We've got an upstairs. Okay. Nothing too exciting. Drop a little water. Ninety. So I'm just going to try to go to... What was that? We'll come back and search these houses. I'm just going to try to go to the place. You can see it there, the kind of the two-story. And that's like a bank, post office. Um, and up there, there's like a tower that might have some interesting things. There's our destination. Nice view of the town. And it, it really it really feels like a town. I mean it's small, but I think more so than in other games. It feels like it could be real. Alright. Home again. Home again. This is our Third, or so. They've got a cooking pot as well. So, I guess you can't do it from here. Okay, so we got two cooking pots on the stove. That's pretty nice. Oh my goodness. Three cooking pots on the stove. Okay, can we go for four? awesome. It's going to be super easy to to make water, to cook. This is going to be a nice, a nice place. Hang out here for a while. If we can just stay away from the boys. Haven't seen any, I mean, none have threatened our existence. Just seen them at a bar. Best part is got a refrigerator. All right, so let's start unloading. So let's 
just put all the food in there. Drink that soda because it's about to die. Something like that. Dog food. Oh, that dog food is low. Plenty of soup socks. Some, something like that. All right. There's our food. Uh, I'll just go ahead and start putting stuff in. So for arrows, I don't think we need to carry more than certain five. Put a storm lantern in. Don't need a hacksaw now. I carry that for cars. Flare away. Keep a can up. Keep one can. Okay, looking real, real spiffy there. Let's drop. So let's do it here. Place it, even though you can drop it there. I <laughs> sort of sounds like it's starting to blow outside. place to put clothes. Since cabinets are 33, we'll put them in the fridge, probably. Let's see what we've got in here. This, uh, this looks like a clothes place. 88. Oh! Another Jesus. Glad we found a sewing kit. They're they're pretty common, but not guaranteed any. is a gold mine. Big place. Keep them in 
divider, I guess so. Uh, there's, uh, there's Dear John. Uh, there's the Bernsteins. It's actually Berenstein. I, I, we always said Bernstein, which is fun. I love that you can see the chimney here. Uh, this is a, it's a great place. Cardboard, metal, papers. Let's, uh, let's tear this down. Let's see if there's anything behind it. Sure enough, my instinct. Never fails. Uh, except when it does, but then I forget those instances. Ah, there's probably something else behind it to tear other stuff down. But... Water. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, so let's uh, let's put our water right next to the fridge, and we're not going far, so let's drop a lot of it. Should have ate ten, but okay. So good. Uh, so a maple sap that'll let us make a bow. Uh, a lot of clothes we need to drop off. So this first aid stuff, I'll I'll carry that around. This is the freezer in the fridge. Um, and let's have a trash. Actually, let's, let's use the trash. That's the trash. Okay, uh, six pounds. That thing. Serve us well, my friend, but you are very, very heavy. Uh, okay, put some of these bad boys away. Let's say. 20. We, we could do better than that, but that's. That's where I'm going to leave it. So now the idea is to go to each of the houses and uh, and loot. Try to stay alive. So good weather for us, I think, because it keeps the wolves wet. Start with shit. There's a wolf. You can't go in the house. So I don't know if you can go in that one over there. Either. Looks like no. Okay. Well, those can't go in. I really thought it was windy enough to keep the wolf out. I think there's something like. This loot around that water tower, but 
can't go there just now. For some reason, going in the cars makes me a small amount nauseous. And it sucks because you have to go in on the surgeon. Milton something union. I guess it's the bank. Credit union. Alright. We got here a pry bar. Thank you, my friend. Trail boots. So cloth. There's a lot of these places that have cloth if we ever need any. But I have a feeling we can just tear up clothes or use the cloth that's in our house. Um, it's there. It's here. Just have to remember. Nobody here drinks ginger ale. Pepsi. Coke. That's how you know they're really in the wilderness. I don't see shit. Basically guaranteed water in every house. Okay. I wonder how it decides which pry bar to use. If it even does it intelligently. It's just arbitrary. Because I would want it to use the one with the least health. A lot of good little things here. Gonna be able to stay in Milton a long time, whether or not we want to. I don't know. We are now bank robbers. I don't feel too bad about. So you can use money as tinder. locked. Hold on. Doesn't somebody keep candy bars in the safe deposit box? I know I do. Just in case there's a... Here we go. It's something useful. A line. Alright, so then we're left with this, right? Oh! 
That was lucky. All right, 35, 34. All right, it's like 34, 10 ish. Shit, we didn't go back far enough. Locked up a bullet and a book. All right, it's getting late. I feel like time is accelerated when you're picking the lock. So that's where we're making our base. We have time to loot another. Let's try this one. There's also a little house up on that hill. Maybe not like a house, but more like a, a shed thing. Good place to look for stuff. And rabbits. Shit, it's locked. So it's, I don't have the lantern. Really? Could have sworn I kept the lantern. All right. Let's see. What am I missing the time? I think I'm going to go head back up to the house. And uh, I should stop uh, for tonight. And then we'll come back next stream and we'll search this town. Try exploring the farm. This is kind of creepy. Okay, where did I put the lamp? I do not remember dropping it. Did I actually put it in the fridge? I did put it in the fridge. Uh, okay. So.
Uh, but yeah, it's it seems like there's a lot of buildings left. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say at least four. The I think there's a post office in addition to the bank, and there's probably you know a good number of little houses. So we're gonna find all sorts of stuff. Got a replacement pair of boots. Our nice boots. A lot of things to tear up for leather and cloth. All in all, this place is pretty awesome. Alright, so I'm just gonna sleep and then uh, quit in the morning. So, totally, 100%, no exceptions, successful trip. Uh, a little bit surprised, but hey, it happens. Now this is... It's kind of a weird map because you've got the town and you've got the farm. Those have nice places. But then there's this whole area kind of up uh, above the town that doesn't have any indoor locations. It's pretty dangerous. Um, and I think that's where we have to go to get to the new map. Uh, my understanding is that it's up there. There's a creepy little church, and you there's like a bridge with a bunch of cars. There's a lot of a lot of creepy stuff on this map. There's also a place kind of like in Broken Railroad where if you bring a rope you can uh, throw throw a rope down and it's not too far from this house and you kind of skip a lot of that brick merle. But uh, I don't know, climbing gives me the heebie jeebies. I, I think because I've died climbing so so frequently. I'm not sure why I thought it was morning. I guess because we're not tired. At some point we need to kill something to have some meat to eat. We could just keep eating all this food. The question is how do we get all this stuff back? Uh, there's one way is just don't carry it back. Just just eat it. I'm not against that. Sure. Uh, I, think, I think I'm going to do one more little thing here. So we've got these clothes. 
And I want to say that these shoes that we got. Oh, where did I put the shoes? Oh, here they are. I think these shoes are actually pretty decent um, for the weight. Maybe we need to, maybe we carry them around in the sun because we're not going to go far for a while. So they're, you know, they're not as good, but they're two pounds lighter. Um, let's compare them to the to the snakes. So they're basically as good as the sneakers, but they have more water resistance. Um, simple leather shoes that look good on Bay Street will probably get you killed out here. Hope you have some warm socks. Um, all right, so fancy shoes. Now, if if we go out past outside of the town, I might switch, but that's good for now. Um, I think it was these wool mittens that were pretty good. Um, I, I think it's fine. I was going to say, I don't want to lose too much protection. And, uh, Yeah, so that it doesn't really matter protection for these. Um, probably if we got combat boots, they would have good protection, but these things aren't very good. So that's a good trade-off. The the gloves, however, have some protection, I think. Five, and that would go down to probably zero with the gold. So that's fine with me. Alright, well it's morning and we're totally ready to bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and stop here. Um, and then the next time we play, we'll be ready to pull this down apart. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a nice night.